This is Mr. Martin. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, key points in logarithm graphs. There's uh, basically going to be three different key points uh, in a logarithm graph. You can see here in uh, the figure that I've got um, the graph of y equals log base a of x, and this is for values of a greater than 1 over here. And then we have also the graph of y equals log base a of x, except now our base is between 0 and 1, so we've got a fraction between 0 and 1. Um, and you can see highlighted these three points on each graph. These are our key points. Um, and we can see one of them is our x-intercept, so we can see that our y-coordinate is always going to be 0, so that's going to be a hint for how we're going to find that. And then for our other key points, we can see that our y values are 1 and negative 1. Okay, so we, we know when a log is equal to 1. That's when a and our value of x are the same. And we know when a is going to be negative 1. That's when we have a relationship between a and x that they are reciprocals. So and we'll look at a few examples of how we're actually going to find these three key points. Um, and make sure that you uh, check in with me if you have questions. So um, you should probably uh, pause the video and uh, get some paper and just make a quick sketch of these two graphs so you have them to refer to and uh, also to write down the uh, few examples that we're going to go through. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. We want to, um, so we're going to find three key points for each part A. So let's start out with f of x is equal to 2 log base 4 of x. So let's start out with our um, x-intercept because I think that one's the easiest. So all we're going to do is set our function equal to 0. And then we have 0 is equal to 2 log base 4 of x, and we can solve it for x. And that will give us our uh, x-intercept, which will be one of our three key points. So I'm going to rewrite this in exponent form. So 4 to the 0 is equal to x. Let's try that again. It is equal to x. Okay, so keep in mind I divided both sides by 2 first, so I still had 0 on that side. So when I rewrite it in exponent form, I have 4 to the 0 is equal to x. And 4 to the 0 is 1, so we have x is equal to 1, which tells us that our key point here is 1, 0. Okay, that's going to be our x-intercept. All right, for our next key point, let's take a look back up here. We've got, we know that my y value is going to be 1, which means that my a and my x have to be the same number. So over here, since I have a base of 4, all of this has to be 4. In this case, it's just an x. So we know that x is going to be 4. And then let's go ahead and calculate what y is. So y is equal to... 2 log base 4 of 4, which is 2 times 1, or just 2. So our second key point here is going to be 4, comma, 2. And then for our third key point, we know that these two are going to have to be reciprocals of each other so that we get negative 1. So if this is a 4, I know that x has to be 1 fourth, and then we'll go ahead and calculate y again. So we've got y is equal to 2 log base 4 of 1 fourth, which is 2 times negative 1. Okay, that's why we chose the 1 fourth, so it would be negative 1, which is negative 2, which gives us our third key point, 1 fourth, comma, negative two. Okay, so uh, rewind the video and watch this again as needed. Uh, pause and write down your questions and make sure you ask me the next time you see me. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. 
So we'll call this part B. And let's take a look at f of x is equal to log base 3 of x plus 2. And let's start with our y, uh, x-intercept. So at the x-intercept, I know the value of y is going to be 0. So 0 is equal to log base 3 of x plus 2. We'll rewrite this in exponent form. So I have 3 to the 0 is equal to x plus 2. I know 3 to the 0 is 1, so 1 is equal to x plus 2, which means that x is going to be negative 1. So my first key point, my x-intercept is negative 1, comma, 0. All right. Now let's go ahead and find our second key point. For our second key point, I know that my base and all of this part have to be the same, okay, because we want that value to be 1. So what I need to have here is I need to have x plus 2 equal to 3. Okay, that way whenever when I sub that value of x in, this whole thing is going to be equal to... 1. Okay, and that's what we're looking for. Again, let's scroll back up here. We're looking for this value here to be 1, and then we'll we'll apply whatever transformations we need to after that. Okay, so this gives us an x value of 1, and then when I go ahead and substitute that back in, I get y is equal to log base 3 of 1 plus 2. That's 3, so the log base 3 of 3 is 1. That gives us our second key point, which is 1, 1. All right, now for our third key point, we need all of this to be the reciprocal of 3. So now x plus 2 is going to be 1 third. Solve that for x, and we're going to get x is negative 1 and 2 thirds. And then we'll go ahead and substitute that back in for x and figure out what y is. y equals log base 3 of negative 1 and 2 thirds plus 2. So that gives me the log base 3 of 1 third. So 3 to the what is equal to 1 third. That's going to be negative 1, which is what we wanted to get. That gives us our third key point. My x value was negative 1 and 2 thirds, and my y value is negative 1. Okay, so you'll notice here that I've got my 0, my 1, and my negative 1, which is what we're looking for from my key points up here. Here's my 0, here's my 1, here's my negative 1. If there happens to be a vertical translation, these numbers will be changed by that vertical translation. So keep that in mind. But if you're using, you know, the method that I've outlined here, you should be okay finding those three key points. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you're looking for some more practice, um, you can probably find some in the textbook. Uh, just work on the odd problems. You should have the answers to those. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.